For those that struggle to identify ICT is one of the most important confluences in trading, the order block, this video will help you. Today I'll be showing you an indicator which helps you find and identifies order blocks. Now we do not rely on this solely. I'll be giving you guys other ch uh, check marks which will actually uh, prove these order blocks to be much more of a higher standard and much more reliable the ones that really would hold and the ones that really do work you do not just want to solely rely on this indicator however it will pick out the ones that you need to focus on and then all you need to do is just make sure to validate it and i'll be showing you that in this very short five minute video on how to actually uh, validate that is a very probable order block over an order block which wouldn't be much probable at all so firstly, what you're going to want to do is uh, head over to the indicator section here, right? What you're going to want to search is order block finder. It's going to be called order block finder experimental by this creator here, W-U-G-A-M-L-O. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's the one that's going to be right. Then it's going to pop up. Now, what you're going to want to do is um, just hover over it in the top left corner and click this settings icon. When you click settings icon, this is what you're going to want to change your settings to. So make sure you change all of them, pause the videos, do it as I explain so it's much easier for you guys. Now you can turn off the lines. If you don't want the lines there, you don't have to. The lines basically give you a stop loss um, placement as well. Um, but personally, we don't need to use that. I'll be explaining why later on. You're also gonna go to inputs. You're gonna wanna change, you can change the, uh, the color scheme to bright or dark. So that's totally up to you. I'm gonna have mine on dark. Relevant periods to identify order block will be set on five, leave it on five, and minimum percentage move to order block 0 0.5. Now, as you watch it, if I lessen it, uh, if I put it to zero, you'll see that much more order blocks will begin to show. However, we want to be very precise and uh, we don't want too much on our chart and too much clutter. So we're going to leave it at five, which will only give you much more reliable order blocks. Now, when the indicator is only is finally on, I want you guys to understand you are not solely relying on this, okay? Yes, it will pick out all the blocks for you on whatever time frame you are on, but do not solely reply, uh, rely on this. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you shortly why. Now, uh, one thing I'd like to mention as well, we do have a free Telegram group uh, where we send out trades. Like today, we had this one to four lovely gold uh, trade. We actually did use um, order block. Uh, within this technique um, so if you guys do want to join that go ahead and join that we're running a very very good deal on our mentorship right now as well uh, you get a free hft pass in which you buy for very very cheap 99 dollars for a, for a lifetime is nothing but um back to the video now so whatever time frame you use the order block on right it's going to identify what order blocks now what what is going to give you a reliable order block okay um, a probable order block now i'm going to write out i'm going to give you guys a checklist so you guys can actually write this down let me just make this bigger for you guys so probable order block is going to consist of right imbalance left after the order block right if no imbalance, disregard the order block. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. So, a probable order block is one that leaves behind imbalance. Now, what do I mean by imbalance? Simply fair value gaps, essentially. Fair value gaps. So, if you see within this candle, right, why is this imbalance? So, if you see in the middle, right, only buying is offered, there is no selling offered within this candle. Hence why this is imbalance. So this order block, as you guys can see here, if I mark out this order block, it says bullish order block. What happened when we tapped in? We're finally getting that move away. Okay, great. Now another one. Um, look at this order block. Did we leave behind imbalance? Yes. Look at this gap between this candle and this candle. Only selling is offered. With, that, with this huge move down that, just proves to you that that imbalance is um, going to give you a very probable order block. So as soon as we've tapped in, we moved away. Now, let's see if you can find um, a scenario where this would not be the best. Okay, let's have one here. Where is the imbalance with it? Actually, there is actually imbalance with that. We did tap in and move away. So I want to find an example which wouldn't be a probable order block. Um... 
Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect here. No, that's the it was in my let me drop on a lower time frame as well. I want to give you guys the the both end of the stick so you guys can actually use this to your advantage. And I want you guys to really understand identifying reliable order blocks and ones that are not reliable, okay? Okay. Bang in. You see we have this bullish order block. This down candle is a bullish order block. Why is this not probable? Where is the imbalance left? You see within these candles? Yes, there might be imbalance all the way up here, but you want to see straight after the, the actual order block. No imbalance, then disregard the order block. And look how we moved in. We moved in, we barely got a move away. We just sh shot straight for it. However, when you then refer, refer to this order block, right? Look, look at this move in, move in, move away. Much more probable because we've got imbalance left. Now, also using order blocks, it's not just... So I'm going to also explain this one for you as well. So, uh, let me draw... Okay. Say this is the move. Say this is an order block here. It's not, so an order block consists of, right, oh, let's put that there. An order block is, so a bullish order block, last down close candle before the displacement away. So, bullish is the last down close candle before the displacement away. Last down close candle, that's where it is before the displacement away. What is displacement? Displacement is energetic candles like this, where it leaves behind imbalance. This is not, this is not displacement. These little wiki candles, no. You need energetic ones like this, okay? That's displacement. Okay, so it's the last down close candle. And if you have three or two consecutive down close candles together, use that whole thing as an order block, okay? So as you can see here, I've given you guys loads of examples um, of order blocks. This indicator works very, very well whatever time frame you're actually on. Whether you're on the 15 minute for entry or four hour for directional bias, it works a charm. But remember, what makes a probable order block and what makes a order block which is not probable and you must dis disregard. Please, 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 please do remember that. Write that down in your notes if you guys need a um, reminder what indicator it is. It is order block finder experimental by WGAML. Okay, this is going to be the one. I hope this video helps. Uh, join our free telegram in the link below. Our link is going to be down below for our free telegram where we share trades, trade breakdowns, uh, much more free content. But yeah, hopefully that video did help you guys um, and have a 